Okay, let's go to the last question. Thank you. Okay, um, can you hear me okay? Yes. Um, there is a ding ding. <laughs> um, I'm Anne Boyd from the St Kilda Live Music community. Uh, I'm a punter who just wants to enjoy live music. I have a question about <coughs> Council's lack of support for live music venues <coughs> since uh, the last election, but I first need to outline this issue for a minute or so. Uh, venues have been over-targeted by Council noise limit compliance officers, and if the noise levels are over some phantom limit, the venue is fined without consultation. Unrealistic <coughs> curfews um, for historic entertainment precincts have been placed, example, 8pm, 10pm on a weekend. Um, I am particularly angered, along with hundreds of others, by the closure of Pure Pop. It was a beloved uh, music community small venue where local to international acts played and hundreds of residents made many friends and music connections and enjoyed great live music. However, Council took the viewpoint of one vexatious complainant. He even complained about a date the venue wasn't open and closed the performance space until $150,000 of soundproofing works were carried out. The current Council has been very unsupportive of live music venues and I would like to ask the candidates standing, if elected, will you advocate for consultation with and more positive support for live music venues in the City of Port Phillip, including meetings with the St Kilda Live Music community? Thank you very much. Well, we, we know Nick is well said. very supportive. Well said. I couldn't have said it better myself. Um, what Anne actually did mention there, I actually wanted to mention with that last thing about transparency and council officers who seem to be a law unto themselves. I know of three venues who received fines in the mail for, for being too loud. How does that help anyone, in, for God's sake? I mean, they don't know which night it was. They don't know how loud they were. They don't know who made the complaint. What's to stop another venue complaining about another venue and saying, oh, they're too loud? Seriously. Yeah. And this council, this council's officers have gotten away with far too much, far too bloody long, and they should be held accountable. That's why they're yeah. not. Yeah. Uh, OK. Uh, so quickly, a response to that. There's been a complete loss of common sense. We, mm. um, pure pop was a complete loss of common sense. Absolutely. The closure of the bookshop by, once again, oh, one, 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 complaint. one complainant yeah. who was like... And then, you know, my physio, um, he wanted to do, have, he got a new venue for yoga and Pilates. Well, they're very noisy. And yeah. yoga, the yoga you know, and, and he had to spend $3,000 on a noise study <laughs> and had his venue closed yeah. for two months. And you get one person that's done this and they just... They, 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 I mean, the guy, just, the, 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 the noise consultant just laughed and said, Here's, here's the $3,000 bill, and yes, it's fine. Are you sympathetic to these arguments, Catherine? I'm a muso as well. <laughs> so, absolutely, it's it's one of the most vibrant parts of uh, what makes our suburbs special. It's why and a lot of people live in Port Phillip. Yep, absolutely. And I yeah. think that yeah. there uh, some of the some of the issues you're raising, there's still a lot of um, confusion in the general population about how the agent of change principle operates and, and the rights of venues. Um, it's really distressing to hear that there have been um, unclear enforcement practices. Yeah. I'd be very interested in meeting with and, um, and talking to the live music community. Richard? Absolutely. Yeah, look, it's, it's not such a big issue at my end of town. Because I, 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 you're I, old and bougie. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> that's right, that's right. Um, look, obviously... Um, There's a couple of venues in South Melbourne. Though. Oh, I don't Are you know about Yeah, the water, <laughs> rat. the water rat was... You went for Johnny O'Keefe the tour. Oh, that's <laughs> right, that's right. Exactly, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Uh, look, no, I, I think... I, I agree with the fundamental premise. I, I think this council has become incredibly bureaucratic. Really bureaucratic. It, 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 it's, it's nonsensical. I get that constantly from people. It's impractical. The officers come and they, they, they make the simplest thing complex for everybody. And, ben, and ben really are you thing. sympathetic to what you're hearing? Oh, absolutely. I'm the uh, ex-group general manager for a hospitality business that had half a dozen late licence venues that played live music and not live music, but live music into the late in the night. And on the receiving end of vexatious uh, complainants as well. So completely sympathetic and, and being a 
coming to St But residence amenity is an issue that has to be factored in. It's not just one yes, way. Yes, but sure. one no, 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 vexatious but complaint isn't. Yes. And it's got to stop being talking. anonymous too. That is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. That, that is, is ridiculous. absolutely that is ridiculous. ridiculous. And you're talking about, I mean, we're the residents. It, it was a community in every sense and of the word. And there were people from all over the world who knew about Peel Pop. Mm. Can I just mention something that's incredibly funny, if not sad, and Anne actually touched on it. Pure Pop had complaint after complaint after complaint about gigs. The guy who was complaining would go to the gig guide and work it, yeah, and one night, one week, three gigs in a row were cancelled and he complained about those three gigs to council and they looked into it. The venue... They didn't happen. The venue wasn't open. The venue wasn't even open. Yeah, well, you're spoiled well, for choice on who to vote for here. Because the idea that you can yes. complain anonymously. Is in, I, I, well, wow, yeah, that's yeah. It's so. quite another, a surprise. I know it. for a fact, and I won't mention names, I know other venues are dobbing other venues in to make their business bad. Mm. All right, I, I think won't mention names. you've all raised an incredibly you, important issue. Pay me, I'll tell you. <laughs> to torture. So the other standing... Um, would support... Well, I think everyone standing here has answered your question in the affirmative, so okay. you've got a good response, Anne.